Hello and welcome to the Peacekeeper Project. My name is Ben. Now today I want to talk about how and why comparing your meditation experience to someone else's can really get in the way of your meditation practice from progressing. Now there's different ways and aspects of how this happens. And to help you understand it, I'm going to share a short story from my meditation journey, the early stages of my journey, because that's definitely something that I went through. And since then, it's something that I've seen fellow students and then students I've worked with in groups and clients that I've worked with. It's a common theme. So you're not alone if you're experiencing this, but it is something that I really love helping people to understand so they can improve their meditation practice. All right, so my first real introduction to meditation was a weekend workshop. This was about 22 years ago, so 2001, and there was probably at least 80 people in the room at the workshop. And over the weekend, we did a lot of meditations, a lot of practices, and then we also had group conversations. So in the big group and then smaller groups where we could ask questions and share experiences. And I remember listening to people sharing their experiences and thinking, wow, that's amazing. But there was another part of me that felt like, are you for real? Are you making this up? Because I'm not getting any of that. Now, maybe you've had a similar experience and maybe you can relate. But I remember as I was listening to these people share, and it felt like a lot of people, but it wasn't everyone. It just felt like a lot. I started to feel like maybe I'm not doing it right or maybe there's something wrong with me because I'm not getting what they're getting. I was expecting my experience to be like theirs. So I was a little disheartened, but you know, I didn't give up. I figured this is like learning any other skill. It takes practice and some people are more gifted. Some people it takes more practice. And I was also a very curious person. And part of my reason for coming to meditation was curiosity. Curiosity to understand myself, understand my mind, who am I, and understand these metaphysical experiences that people are having. I wanted to have them. So I was curious and I committed to practicing. And I figured that if I keep practicing, then it would start to make sense. Things would fall into place. And over time, it did. I started to have experiences. I started to have my own experiences. And from those experiences, I built deeper experiences. Experiences build on experiences. And so as that happened, it was really interesting to, to realize that my experiences, they felt different to how other people had described them. Now, there were similarities for sure, but there were also definitely differences. Now, I've also found it really fascinating over the years to acknowledge and be curious and this sense of wonder for how people explain their experiences. Because remember, we're having a personal experience and we're putting it into words so we can, so we can communicate something. But remember, we use words to describe an experience, but the words are not the experience. Words can easily be misinterpreted. So we don't want to get too caught up on the words that people use. Words help point to something. They help point to an experience. Now, of course, it's helpful to listen to people, listen to people's experiences. It's helpful to listen and discuss and share our experiences and have discussions amongst people learning the same thing. We just have to be careful that we're not comparing in a way that hinders or hurts our practice. Because when we compare an experience and then we don't get it, then it can be demotivating. It's like our expectation is not met. And then we can start to question ourselves and our abilities, like I did. And that's just not helpful. So comparing, the process of comparing, can give the impression that our experience should be a certain way. And there's some problems with this. And the first one is, when we have an idea about how it should be, we try to create it with our mind. But remember, meditation is about getting out of our ordinary thinking mind. This level of our mind can't do meditation. It just doesn't know how. But it will try. 
and problem with this is that when we try to create the experience with our mind, we miss the genuine experience that's actually there. And this is where the power is, because this is being present to what is, present to your experiences. And this is your inner environment that you're learning to navigate, not someone else's. So remember, your experience is your experience. Someone else's experience is someone else's experience. Now, I know you've come to meditation because there's a calling inside you. Something inside you is calling you inwards. And meditation is a practice, it's a process that helps take us inwards to connect with that calling, to answer that call. And so I really want your meditation practice, your journey, to be a successful one, a fruitful one. So as you go forward in your journey, let your experiences be your experiences. Let your experiences unfold and, and build on each other. But you know, listen to other people, learn from other people, listen to how people share their experiences. But let yours unfold in your own way. Be present to what is. Now, if you would like some support, guidance on your journey, then this is something I love helping people to do. Helping people to understand themselves, their mind, their emotions, and the process of meditation. Because when we understand the process, we engage in it more. We can navigate the challenges and the the things that come up along the way that we're not expecting. And so remember, meditation works when we do it. When we get put off, we give up and it doesn't work. So learning to understand the process helps you to navigate those challenges so you can have that successful, fruitful meditation practice and answer that call inside. And this is also why I created Finding Stillness. This is a 21-day comprehensive meditation and mindfulness online journey. So each day for 21 days, you receive new video lessons, practices, and guided meditations. Each day building on the previous one, really helping you to understand how meditation works, why it works, understand the process, how meditation and mindfulness work together and support each other, ultimately taking you inwards. If you'd like to know more about that, then I'll leave links in the description below. Or you can check out my website at peacekeeperproject.com. All right, now let me know in the comments below, was this video helpful and did it make sense? And let me know, what questions do you have about meditation? What challenges do you face? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. This is really one of the best things you can do to help me build this channel so more people can find videos like this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Thank you for being here, and I really appreciate your presence. Until the next time, quiet your mind and live from your heart.